Dear students, welcome back. This is the uh, our third session in the sentence structure, and today we are going to speak about the complex sentence. Uh, what do you know about the complex sentence? The complex sentence is um, a sentence that uh, has an independent clause joined with the, a dependent one. An independent clause joined by one or more dependent clause. It means that it must have an independent clause, and it must have at least one dependent clause, or it can have more than that. So we know already what is the independent clause. What about the dependent clause? What is it? The dependent clause is a clause that um, uh, either it lacks the subject or it lacks the verb. Uh, or maybe it has both of them, but they are preceded by uh, one of the conjunction that cannot be uh, cannot be separated. Like this example, since my friend and I wanted to have fun uh, because she was sick, who lives next door? Uh, since my friend and I wanted to have fun, I have here since um, this is the, uh, a conjunction. I cannot separate it from the rest of the sentence. This part, my friend and I wanted to have fun. This you can say this is a, an independent clause and it's a standalone. But if you omit this one since, but since since here is part of a main part of this sentence uh, or this clause, so I cannot erase it. If you read it all of it, it does not give you a complete meaning. So we we said that this is a dependent one because she was sick. The same thing. She was sick by itself is an independent clause. Adding because to it to change it into a dependent clause. Uh, the same thing with who lives next door. So adding those uh, kind of connectors or conjunction turn the independent clause into a dependent one. Uh, so the complex sentence has a part that cannot stand alone that we call the dependent clause and it is linked to the rest of the sentence which is the uh, independent clause we can connect them in two ways or two options the first option is the subordinating conjunction the, the first one like as because since after although when and we are going to study them in detail later on here are the example Natasha didn't attend my birthday party because she was sick Um, because she was sick. The first part is Natasha didn't attend my birthday party. This is a, an independent clause and it's standalone. The second part is because she was sick. This is a dependent one and it depends on this, the first part to complete its meaning. The second way or option is a relative pronoun which is who, that, which. Uh, and we still have more example. Look at this example. The man who lives next door made an accident last night. The man made an accident last night, this part highlighted in, in, in yellow. This is the, the independent clause. Uh, within it, they implemented the, uh, uh, the, the, the dependent clause, which is who lives next door. Uh, this highlighted in red. One more thing. Um, one more thing. Uh, about the complex sentence that in some with some types with some types of the uh, subordinated conjunction uh, we can uh, we can uh, convert or we can switch the, sent the the two parts of the sentence i mean uh, i can start with the dependent and end with the independent or some or i can start with the independent and end with the dependent in this example since we wanted to have fun this is the the part that cannot stand alone so this is the dependent part and to start with the subordinated conjunction sense the second part we went to san juan yesterday this is the independent one it can stand alone here i started with the dependent and end with the dependent uh, the the original part is this one here. We went to San Juan yesterday uh, since we wanted to have fun. If you have noticed the difference between the first and the second, here the first where we started with the independent clause, we didn't separate it with a comma. But when we started with the dependent clause, we separate them with a comma because we have started with the the weakest part or point of the sentence. That's why we need to separate them with comma. Look at more examples. After eating lunch at the at the cheesecake factory, Tem went to the gym to exercise. After eating lunch at the che the cheesecake factory, this is the dependent part. 
That's why we separated with a comma uh, between it and the independent. Tim went to the gym to exercise. Here it is. After eating, this is the dependent clause. Tim went to the gym is the independent one. After here is the subordinating conjunction. Let's discuss the first option, which is subordinating conjunction in details. Here we have um, uh, most of the subordinating conjunction and uh, their relation. Uh, what uh, what what type of the uh, uh, their type the type of each one of them? If we are speak about the time, so we have after, before, since, until, or when. When I came home, dinner was ready. I can start with dinner. I can say dinner was ready when I came home. So I can switch two parts with when. If the relation is cause, as, because, and since also, we can add since. I like English because it's interesting. I can start with because. I can say because English is interesting, I like it. So I can switch the sentence with because. Effect. So that, in order that, she prepares dinner so that her mom can rest. Can I start with the, so that? No, here I can't switch the two parts of the sentence. So, so that, in order that, uh, both of them come in the middle. The condition, if, even if, unless, if I win the competition, my parents will be proud. And uh, as you know, if has a, um, a for different types of condition. Uh, uh, can, I, can I start with the second part? My parents will be proud if I win the competition. Yes, that's right. So I can switch with if. Contrast, like but or yet, but um, uh, this time they are in the complex sentence. Although, even though and though, though he didn't go to the college, he was successful. I can say he was successful, though he didn't go to the college, or although he didn't go to the college, or even though he couldn't go to the college. And finally, the location where or wherever the wedding was held, where they first met. I can start with where here. Where it comes in the middle always. Uh, here's what I'm say. Uh, what I was saying that I can uh, the subordinated conjunction can come in the middle, or sometimes it can come uh, at the beginning. But here I have to put a comma to separate them. A comma between the dependent clause and the independent clause. The second option, if you remember, it was the relative pronoun. Uh, the relative pronoun introduces a dependent clause that describes a noun, pronoun, or pronoun that goes before it. Introduce a dependent clause. Look at the sentence. We have who. Who refers to people as a subject. He is the man who bought the car. As you can see here, who here described the noun, the man or the pronoun he that goes before it. Whom. People as object. She is the woman whom he loves. As if you are, he, he loves her. She is the woman whom he loves. Whose? Who has? He is the boy whose father, instead of saying his father, he is the boy whose father passed away a few years ago. Which things and situation? We spent our summer at the beach, which was wonderful. That, things or people? The big blue building in the house that is haunted. What, uh, the same which? This present is exactly what I hoped for my birthday. Uh, those are the, where the two options, and uh, uh, we will not stop here, of course. Uh, um, during the coming uh, sessions, uh, and the in the, um, the also in the coming units, we are going to have more details related to uh, all those options and the uh, all those uh, conjunction. Uh, Okay, let's have uh, some exercises for each sentence, right? Simple or, uh, whether it's a simple compound or complex. Tracy sings while she's played the piano. Tracy sings is the first part. While she played the piano is the second part. It's dependent and independent. The start was while, so it's a complex. can just exit and uh, use a typing better. Yes, here. Yeah. 
the uh, paradigms arrived as soon as they could but it was uh, too late here this is the a compound sentence and B it's a compound sentence see after I wrote the report I proofread it this is the first part after this is the um, uh, uh, this is the dependent one I proofread it this is the independent so this is a complex sentence if you plate the avocado pet in water it will soon uh, sprout uh, this is a complex sentence because it starts with the first part is as a dependent one start with f for conditions it will soon sprout this is the independent an independent one the, uh, okay let's sorry let's cancel this one because um, it has a lot of explanation uh, that we may explain later we need to know other things before explaining it let's go draw, jump to f do you like the pudding or are you just be being polite the first part is do you like the pudding it can stand alone are you just being a polite that's the second part can stand alone so or here is the um, uh, one of the coordinating conjunctions that we have learned about so this is the, a compound sentence this is a compound sentence why did the chicken cross the road sample sentence the helicopter can carry 30 soldiers and some supplies here uh, don't be uh, distracted by and because end here is for lest not to connect to complete thoughts so this is another simple sentence when sandy came to the plate uh, the the paces were loaded with two uh, outs when sandy the, this is the the dependent one the paces were loaded with the, the independent so this is a complex sentence she went on most of the really uh, terrifying rides but she wouldn't go near the the ferry's wheel uh, uh, this is the a compound sentence here he needs you to expand the following sample sentences into complex sentence using subordinated conjunction that are given to you they couldn't make a cake because um, I'm sorry, I would just say it for you um, orally. They couldn't make the cake because there's no need for the comma. We just add because they don't have, they didn't have uh, egg, they didn't have the ingredients. The tiger went hunting when, we don't need the, the follow stop. The tiger went hunting when he felt hungry. If we started with because, don't forget to put the comma between the the uh, the sentence, uh, the clause that start with uh, with because and the second one, and the same with here. Our teacher graded the papers while we were studying. The ghost floated up the stairs until the boys left the room. So I have uh, a lot of. Um, uh, example that you can add was what was important is that is to take care if you started with this opportunity conjunction you have to separate the whole dependent clause with a comma from the independent one uh, here he needs you to complete the complex sentence with the correct opportunity conjunction i'm going to the supermarket i'm going to the supermarket I'm going to the supermarket uh, blank I need to buy some groceries here I can add because or I can add as or I can add since both of them are giving reason I prepared dinner I got home if you keep the, the, the table that we were discussing with the subordinating conjunction in front of you so you can choose the best one I prepared dinner after I got home or when I got home she decided to trust Mike he was um, a reliable guy someone that you can rely on so because or you can use as space we went to school she decided to, to investigate the issue um, we can say when 
you can say after Lisa decided to break up with Tom he was too worried about uh, his his career he decided to break up with Tom he was because also or you can say as John bought a new car uh, he had received the one as a gift last week John bought a new car I, th I think uh, this is a contrast here because he knew uh, he bought a new car although he had received one as a gift last week so we can write uh, although or though or we can write even though all of them introduce a contrast um, uh, drag days that the, the uh, I think he's means here say it says uh, Drake said that there will be a problem he doesn't bring the car back uh, there will be a problem if he doesn't bring the car back here we have condition Sarah will have finished uh, the homework the time you get there um, so here we can add uh, before Sarah will have finished the homework before the time you get there it's raining she is going for a walk although or uh, though or even though space she passes her final exam she will fail the class she passes the, her final exam she will fail the, the she will fail the class we can say f if she passes the final exam she will fail the class Uh, I'm sorry I have a misunderstanding unless so unless she passes the final exam she will fail the class okay um, that's it for today and um, stay safe bye